we know that uh, Angular 9 has uh, released and we know what Angular is and why we are using it. So Angular is a TypeScript based framework which is used to develop a single page application and you might be knowing what is single page application. So it is that uh, without reloading a page it will update a content right so that is a single page application. You can search what is single page application and multi page application. You can get to know the difference between single page and multi page application. There are a lot of examples available there. Even uh, you can see angular dot io the official site of angular itself is uh, made on angular and it is a single page application okay uh, so let's come back to uh, the introduction of angular so as we were discussing it is a single page application and it was introduced by google so now we know the angular 9 has released okay it was just uh, I, I guess uh, 19 hours ago and I was uh, watching uh, the release party of Angular. So I'll uh, give you those points later on, but we'll discuss about like what is the difference that we have got in Angular 8 and Angular 9. The major change which we have got in Angular 9 is IV. So it's a new rendering engine. We'll talk about it. Okay, but uh, before that we were using JavaScript engine, which was just used to compile, uh, I can say transpile, TypeScript to JavaScript and you know what these people were working since two years on IV engine. This IV engine has a lot of uh, features okay and a lot of support we have got with the packages which we have in Angular okay and you can easily migrate your projects to Angular 9 by just running one command called ng update okay I'll talk about it one by one uh, let me just show you the difference uh, between angular 8 and angular 9 and we can see the size bundle size which is being reduced practically I'll show you how it is being reduced from angular 8 to angular 9 okay and it's a big refactoring which we have got with IV okay guys now you can see uh, we are on the official site of angular uh, and you can check the stable release of angular here uh, stable version 9 right and if you want to get updated to angular 9 you can just see this uh, release information and here we are keeping up to date uh, I have highlighted po few points you can see uh, to make updating easy we provide complete instructions in the okay so you can check angular update guide and this angular update guide uh, you if you have your angular project which is built on angular 8 and you want to upgrade into angular 9 then you have this uh, app complexity you can choose uh, basic medium or advanced if you are uh, using this uh, angular js and want to migrate it to angular then you can check this otherwise uh, we have uh, uh, angular material so i'll just check this and i'll show you how to update it so here what it says before updating instead of importing from angular material what you need to do uh, you can uh, import it like this at the rate angular slash material button so if you just say ng update okay that will happen automatically as i said earlier just an in one command ng update okay for lazy loading for lazy loading again uh, we don't need to write separate modules okay uh, it will happen by itself you can see modules via the rate, uh, router make sure you are using dynamic imports import via string is removed in version 9 and ng update should take care of this automatically right and during the update we have to make sure we have all these uh, node version of uh, 10.13 and uh, if you want to update your angular version you can just run one command ng update at the rate angular slash course at the rate angular slash cli and uh, see this is what you need to do uh, everything is written over here you can just take a look fine uh, so here we have release practices if you see this angular versioning we have major release we have minor release and we have patch release here you will get complete guide on uh, iv okay so see here what it says iv is the code name for angular next generation compilation and rendering pi pipeline okay uh, it's just a new compiler and runtime instructions which is used by default instead of the older compiler and runtime okay 
so that is ivy and uh, see it is very uh, compatible with aot ahead of time compiler now see uh, before when we say ng serve okay uh, it was not by default ahead of time compiler but uh, now it is uh, by default ahead of time compiler so if you if we talk about iv compatible section if we go de there okay what it says uh, here angular iv is the default rendering engine okay if you have not heard about iv then let's get into iv section so what it says iv is the code name for angular's next generation compiler and rendering pipeline so it's just a new compiler and runtime instructions which are used by default instead of older compiler and runtime uh, and see here aot and iv so compatibility between aot and iv is just say when we were uh, running ng surf it was not aot but now it is by default ahead of time compilation okay and uh, you can see there are some libraries which is uh, more compatible with uh, iv and make sure when you are using uh, some uh, packages okay um, if you are having version 8 or some other versions and you are trying to install the packages uh, latest packages you may get lot of errors right so to avoid those errors you have to install compatible version okay as i was talking about iv engine i told you it's a big refactoring under the hood of angular uh, you don't need to do anything that will happen by itself by just running one command called ng update your project will be fully compatible with iv if you run ng update so it's one of the bigger change uh, if you find a bug in iv engine you can file them and uh, they will fix it up so when I was watching uh, the Angular release party, they were talking about SSR and pre-rendering. Okay, so they, they are still telling uh, uh, with IV it is not pre-rendered, we have to use some SSR or pre-rendering. Okay, and uh, then it will be compatible with SEO. Okay, uh, see here, uh, what it says, as I told you, CLI apps compile in AOT mode. So users who only built with the uh, just-in-time compiler before may see new type of errors. Okay, so you, you can just go through this. Uh, I will show you what it is exactly template type checking guide. Okay, uh, for now let's uh, talk about this TypeScript. So see uh, TypeScript 3.4 and 3.5 are no longer supported. So please update to TypeScript 3.7. And uh, here we have tslib is now listed as peer dependency so rather than a direct dependency uh, we have it as a peer dependency and uh, if you're not using the cli you must manually install tslib you just need to run yarn or uh, add tslib or npm install tslib okay now i will show you uh, my angular version which is then in my machine uh, by just running ng hyphen hyphen version command so you can see my version 8.3.20 okay because now i'll create a angular 8 project ng new project name now i'll run the project now you can see the size here now what I'll do is uh, I'll actually migrate this app to Angular 9 app. So the command which I'll run is ng update iterate angular slash cli iterate angular slash hyphen hyphen next. You can see the packages are updating here. Okay, so it has updated a lot of packages and is still installing the packages. Now you can see what uh, the message it is giving is your project has been updated to Angular version 9. Now let's run the command ng serve. Now you can see the size. 
So it's a drastic change. You can see here, like half of the size of Angular 8, right? So now let me tell you, uh, there is a, a strict mode change, okay, which I was talking about. Let me just show you. So you can see your template type checking, right? So what it says here, we have basic mode, full mode, and strict mode. Okay, now you can see uh, the project which we have created. I have created one more component called user. And what I'm trying to do is, uh, the changes which I want to show you with the uh, strict mode is, you can see here I have an object called user and I have two properties, name and age. Okay, and what I'm doing is I am passing this uh, properties to user component. Okay, so I have this app user and you can see uh, what I'm doing is I'm passing this user dot age. Okay, and uh, you can see here I'm getting the output as 33, right? So let's have a look of component, user component. So what I'm doing here is you can see I have used input decorator message, which is of type string. And you can see here the age is of type number, right? So what we are doing is the number is getting converted to a string. Okay. Now when I say user.name, which is valid, right? Because name is a string and uh, the message, which is of type, type string again, right? But when I say user dot age, okay, uh, it is getting converted to string, right? So to avoid that, what we have is we can take it to a uh, strict mode, okay, by just writing strict template here in uh, Angular compiler options. You just need to write strict templates true. Now let me show you. Uh, when we run ng serve again, what will happen? Before we were not getting the uh, error, but now we are getting the error. Type number is not assignable to a type string. So this is one more change, one more breaking change you can see. And one more thing I want to uh, just write it here. And I want to show you that we will be using a read uh, view child. You might be knowing about it, right? To take the reference of element. So here uh, we had to write static true. See, when it is uh, static, uh, when it is true, then you can write it and uh, see uh, static false will be default value, right? So when it is false, you don't need to write this now. You just can get rid of this. Okay, so when it is static true, then only you'll have to write. When it is false, you don't need to write it. Okay, but when it uh, comes to Angular 8, it was static false by default, but again, we had to write it. Okay, but in Angular 9, it is deprecated. Uh, once it is true, then you can write it. When it is false, you don't need to write it, right? So that is one more change. Okay, uh, so these are all uh, breaking changes I have told you. We have talked about uh, Angular 9 changes, major and breaking changes, and uh, we'll be updating a lot of videos about Angular 9. So if you want latest videos, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. We'll meet you on the next video. Thank you. <laughs>